Ladies and gentlemen, the four-way contest is set for one fall. Introducing first. Look who's back. Uh, Like a bad rash. It literally just keeps coming back. You can't get rid of superstar Sean Davis. Penicillin doesn't help. And of course, our former FIP World Heavyweight Champion, Brian Brock, after an absolutely brutal bull rope match against August Archois. So man. WWN Battle for the Belts in December. First chance to see Brian back in the ring, and he looks pissed off. Yeah, that's a dangerous match. As if the credentials don't speak for themselves. Hey! Oh, hold on. Place that on Mr. Referee! My lawyer stands! Get a key, music! No. Oh, shut up! Did you, did you cut that mic up, Trevor? I, I didn't do it. You just said, Mocha, tell us what his legal counsel had said. And look who's officiating this one. I think he goes to the legal firm of Willie Cheatham and how? Yeah, Billy, Billy Silverman. Yeah, he took the words out of my mouth, Billy Silverman. Legendary official here. Former WCW ref. I get to do uh, TCW shows in Winter Haven with Billy and Always does a hell of a job, consistent if he's anything. Thunder Championship Wrestling indeed. A lot of credit to Cahagas and the crew. He's trained there, but here's the thing, and you've seen it when it comes to the Tokyo Monster Cahagas. When he gets in there, the intensity on the eyes. You would never believe that this is a guy who debuted in 98 from the perspective of what he looks like. You will believe it from the experience, but Cahagas... Brian Brock, this is going to be a hell of a battle here, Ryan. Well, Cahagas has been around FIP since the very first show. I mean, this guy just has a long history with FIP and WWN. Look at, look at the knees trying to manhand Brian Brock here early on. But the last thing I would have expected to see. And Brian Brock charging back in, pushing off Cahagas. Give a lot of credit here to Brock. Brock is not intimidated, but ooh, I shouldn't be surprised though. Brock, Buckshot is just, if there's a man who's not afraid to fight, did you see how much he bled in that FIP World Heavyweight Championship match when he lost to August Archois? Bled buckets, throws Cahagas out like yesterday's trash. Big match, this, this awesome event has brought together so many wrestlers from the past and the present. We've even got friends at home watching on WWN Live, the Kubiak and his beautiful wife Erin in Montana watching this special event. Kubiak used to tear it up in IPW with Francisco Piazzo, but good lord, his chops like a shotgun blast, Trevin. Both men bringing it here, battling outside of the ring. 
not a lot of guys can go toe to toe with Cahagas. Brock obviously one of them, not afraid whatsoever as those kidney punches. I like the choice in college football teams with those gentlemen at ringside, and they're obviously gentlemen. I don't just throw that term around, Trevin. Brian Brock is like a man stalking his prey and just tosses Cahagas back. Oh! God! Yeah, taken right back over the top. He lands on his feet. He's like a cat. Especially for a man the size of Brock. Superstar Sean Davis is, is trying to get Brock to maybe create some separation, give it a moment, but Brock goes back in, gets caught by Cahagas with those kicks. International crisis living up to the name here, Ron. Former NWA Triple Crown Champion just tearing Brian Brock. It's, you know, you never see this happen to either of these competitors just abusing the other. Usually Cahagas very methodical yes. in his offense. Instead here, choking the life. Official giving a little latitude, calling the five, but it's taking Cahagas every every second of that five is Brian. All the while, not only getting choked, but also having the back torqued over that rope. Yeah, and especially at the size of these competitors. The last thing you want, Billy's in there. He's giving them giving them some room to operate, but the fans don't want to see a disqualification. I don't want to see a disqualification. And I couldn't see coming out of the corner there, perhaps Brian went to the face of Cahagas, ripping at the face again, though, this time. And I'm telling you, Brock still is fuming after losing that World Heavyweight Championship. I think Brock's been a man obsessed for the last couple months. And really, when this match was signed, I think I think a lot of people looked at it as, a, as an awesome special attraction. But I think for Brock, it was, I'm just going to beat the piss out of somebody. I'm going to keep beating people until I get my, my rematch for the FIP World Heavyweight yeah, Championship. If that's what it's going to take, he's going to send the message loud and clear. Who are you taking? Cahagas off his feet with that chop. I remember the last time we saw Cahagas facing off the sideshow. That kendo stick, Singapore King got involved in that matchup. You see Brock with that Kiatsu armband paying respect to the king of the southeast. That's why we're all here today, folks. What a event it's been. Look him firing back against Cahagas, who kind of got the feeling that he's trying to end this one quick. Has a lot of experience over Brock, but also has a lot of age. And Cahagas has kept himself in fantastic condition. Dare but say, perhaps in, in the best condition of his life. Yeah, but I don't. I still don't think he wants to be putting an hour time limit. No, not against the guy like Brian Brock. You see Cahagas smartly taking down Brock, cutting off the oxygen. Now you got all the way to Cahagas forcing Brock to have to struggle, not just to stay awake, but really to try to get away, get to the ropes, anything. Yeah, cutting off the oxygen to the mandula oblongata has created for several opponents of Cahagas in the past will tonight be no different. But Brock digging deep. Amazingly, this monster, Brian Brock, I guess that's what happens when monsters collide here, refusing to give, still showing signs of life. But this is the thing, Ron, every time that Brock moves, if you just slip the wrong way, Cahagas can cinch things in the rest of the way. And that's it, lights Over. out. Over, it's absolute risk. You hear superstar Sean Davis having a conniption at ringside. That's kind of normal. Going hysterical. Throwing a tantrum, but what's new? Could you imagine if we put a blood pressure monitor on this man during the matches? What, what the numbers would look like in the 200s as amazingly Brian Brock is up and forces Cahagas into the corner. Able to shed the former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And keep in mind those credentials. It's a different NWA than those. Those were a big deal. As Nobody home. Fortunately there, oof, could have hyperextended that leg. As Cahagas back in control, and this is what Sean Davis has been all over social media saying, do not chop my Brian Brock. And there's the chops. He's waiting for him. Careful for what you wish for. You, you almost think that kind of motivates the Tokyo Monster to he always utilizes the chop. Superstar is pulling on Billy Silverman right now. I don't. I, I think he's trying to say throw the match out. And while while hold on, <laughs> while Superstar is doing that, Kendo Stick brought in but blocked by Brian Brock. And oh! it's the Lariat head taken off the Cahagas and Ron. Sudden impact. 
Brock can get on top with hook in the leg. I think this is it. It is. Here is your winner, Buckshot Brian Brock. Right in the middle after a ridiculous lariat by Brian Brock. We've seen so many men have their heads taken off by that lariat, put away. Even the Tokyo Monster couldn't kick out in three after getting hit. But you notice, Kahega showing signs of life. Superstar better get out of Dodge. Did you, did you see him running? Wouldn't you? I was trying to take a drink and nearly choked and <laughs> John running by. What a character. I don't know why the words Humpty Dumpty came into my head, but... <laughs> But kidding aside right there, worth his weight in gold because that distraction, while superstar Sean Davis was screaming at the official and insisting it should have been a disqualification based on some bogus non-existent stipulation, that distraction, Gehagas grabs the kendo stick, gets caught by Brock, that lariat man, wow, what a matchup, a match I'd love to see again, Ron.